Welcome, everyone. Let's begin our lesson for today by going over the learning goals and success criteria. First, what are we learning? Learning how to understand the various types of triangles by their angle and side measures, how to recognize congruence in geometric figures, how to use the side-side-side theorem and side-angle-side theorem to prove that two triangles are congruent, how to use the angle-side-angle theorem and the angle-angle-side postulate to prove that two triangles are congruent, how to recognize that if two triangles are congruent, all their corresponding parts are congruent, how to recognize congruent geometric figures as being transformations, and how to write a formal proof to show that two triangles are congruent. How are we learning it? Through the triangle congruences test assignment. When can we use this information? To recognize similarities and differences that will allow you to distinguish between solutions in your life, to group items together based on limited but similar information, and to formulate well-thought, articulated arguments to defend your opinions on various topics. How do you know you learned it? By getting a score of four on the triangle congruences test assignment. Now let's take a look at our agenda for today. We will begin by going over the learning goals and success criteria. While we do that, you'll turn in your triangle congruences study guide. After that, I'll give you time to complete the triangle congruences test assignment on Illuminate. At the end of class, we'll go back over our learning goals and success criteria while you fill out your before you go. Your only homework for tonight is to work on any incomplete assignments that you may have. Let's take a look now at the triangle congruences test assignment. The assignment begins with the learning goals and success criteria. If we scroll down, there's a link here to take you to the Illuminate test. Go ahead and click on that link, and it should take you to a page that looks like this. Let's talk now about how to log into Illuminate so that we can take our assessments. So when you click on the link to go to your Illuminate, it should take you to a page that looks like this, and it should already have the access code already there. So the only thing you need to enter in is your student login. Now your student login is your full student ID. So we're going to go ahead and enter that in. So we enter in our full student ID and click next. It's going to pop up to a page that looks like this. It should have your name right here and your student ID here. It should tell you what test you're taking right here. If everything looks right, you're going to go ahead and click confirm. From there, it should take you to a page that looks like this should have the title here, should have your name up here in the top right corner. It tells you when the, do, when the test closes and how many questions are on the test. You'll go ahead and click begin test. That will allow you to begin your test and complete the questions. Once you're done, make sure you go back to Google Classroom and submit your work.